Hi, we're team number eight from the Group 11 3AP class. Our teacher is Edgar Arturo Orozco. And the team consists of... Hi, for the first part we have to apply the equation. This is a rational function of the form p x divided by q of x. Here we have our variables, our variable t, that in a normal graph is p x. It's going to be tiny. T is a for tiny, tiny years. And the p that would normally be uh, y is p of one population. Now for the next part, we have to find this integral. Here we have to find that m is equal to n. Here we have two t's. We have to divide. So we have p as by t. So this is our horizontal asymptote. And for the vertical asymptote, every people of polynomial have all the main well, it can be minus 0.5 because if there is minus 0.5, the denominator will be zero. So we have another asymptote if a minus 0.5. Now we have to answer the question when one of the population is zero. So we have to put the equation again to zero. So that is We pass the, the constant to the other side. And we have to isolate the t. Here we go. The t is equal to. And in this time of juice, the population was zero. Now you have to find the population in 2006 and how much the population will be in 2020. P of 6 is equal to B plus B minus B minus B plus 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 B minus B Now, to graph it, first we get the horizontal asymptote. In this case, it is 3000 because it never crosses it in P. Then we get the vertical asymptote, which is negative 0.5t. And now we just graph it. Well, to get the domain and the range, we have to see the equation and the graph. The equation says that t belongs to the reals except minus one half. And the graph says that. 
it never will touch the horizontal asymptote that is 3000 so he belongs to the rules except the horizontal asymptote that is 3000 as we can see the graph show how the population of rabbits increased from minus infinity to the vertical asymptote that is minus one half and how increased from the minus one half to the infinity so the intervals will be t belongs minus infinity to minus one half union minus one half to infinity but in real cases we cannot uh, have negative population so in this case we have to get the x-intercept to get the real when the population really become to increase so it will be from t belongs 2 under 3 to infinity Now, we can see that as population reaches 3000 the time that is at 0 it will be the year 2000 and 1 it will be the year 2001 will go to infinity Now, having this equation, we are going to make the transformation then space it downward. So we are going to add the minus 10 as a constant. And here we have the new equation with both transformations. The number 9 in the graph of the transformations, now that we have this graph, we are set to make a a transformation in the y-axis. So the graph that originally was in these two quadrants, now it will be in the different quadrants. Now that we have this graph, the other transformation is moving in 10 spaces downward. So we just added this constant of minus 10. So instead of being minus 4,000, it will be minus 4,010. Right here. So, for the closure, first, we were given a problem and then we analyzed the information and determined the variables that are P and T. Then, we use our given equation and graph it. We split the work in equal parts, we answered it and compiled our answers and put them into a Word document. We then gave the format to the document, the upper format. Then we all discussed to get the conclusion and the introduction. We double checked the document and sent it to Edgar. And then we made the video. 